Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Started. Wherever we want to go, our feet will definitely take us there. It's unfortunate that we are meeting again in unusual circumstances. And it's never a pride to us to find ourselves at such places because it's not our desire that we should be turned into reporters when we are political leaders who are supposed to be giving policy, advising the government. So unfortunately, we meet again here finally at Emmersdale Police. We know there have been so many stories that have been circulating concerning the detention of Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba that we learned that yesterday he was apprehended by the police and taken to a place unknown. We have finally gathered information and I'm just from having a lengthy meeting with him together with uh, his wife who were together there at the cells when we are having a briefing from him. And unfortunately we have to bring to our attention that this country we have Zambia is a democracy and we should learn to coexist. I would want to send this message particularly to President Akainde Chilema. I know he's coming from a bitter, difficult place where he was brutalized, where he was mishandled. But we pray that this chain of atrocities should finally find a place where it should end. We cannot continue like this. Zambia is a democracy and it's incumbent on us to keep it like such. They say anger destroys a city. What we saw and what we have learned which happened to Mr. Emmanuel Mamba yesterday is very unfortunate. He has explained that he had gone to wash his car at his uh, usual car wash and whilst he was there policemen who were ununiformed in an excess number of 12 came ambushed him, dragged him he did not who, he did not know who they were so of course he resisted. They became rough on him. They bundled him up he was beaten. He has just shown me he's still swollen and to make matters worse he has been denied opportunity even to have medical attention. This is not what the people of Zambia voted for, especially President Akande Chilema. People expected that finally we had come to a place where we are going to open a new chapter of Zambian politics. We are going to have a man that has seen it all, who has been in opposition for a long time, and was going to come and unite this country. It is very unfortunate that he was picked up, he was brought and put up there. We're not saying the police don't have a right to do so. They can do that. They can arrest us. But how they do it? What means they are us. We still remember that up to now, President Akane Chilema complains and cries foul of how the police went to his house. At least they saved him even the dignity of going to his house. But Mr. Emmanuel Mamba was picked by the roadside. He begged them saying, why can't you allow me to even make a phone call to my wife? They refused. They took him, they brought him in there. He was brought in around 15 hours and today he has not even been charged. They don't even know why he's here. All that which we are seeing in social media is mere speculation. No one knows why Mr. Emmanuel Mamba is behind bars there and I was looking at those cells. I'm an architect and I understand space. Those are death chambers. The kind of windows are like this side and they are highly grooved. You have to push your mouth to the window for you to breathe. And this should at least come to an end. This is how the colonial masters were punishing us. That's how they were creating animal of us. But we have adopted a system that destroys us and we have embraced it and now we are using it against one another. This atrocity should come to an end. We have seen selective kind of application of the law being perpetuated. We reported Mr. Patuke Menda, the Secretary General for the UPND, for hate speech when he spoke and called the Catholic priest Lucifer. That we have seen many people being arrested. Moni Azuru has been put behind bars over that. We have seen uh, Comrade uh, Trifatari put, but this time it was Mr. Patuke Menda, the UPND Secretary General, he's untouchable. We have heard that there has been strict instruction. The police have been intimidated that the country him. This is not how we are going to build a new generation Zambia. This is not how we are going to build the credentials of our democracy. I'm afraid to say that I'm close to President Akane Chilema. We are among the people that worked so hard that we enthrone him. But 
the way he's coming out, the way he's now leading this country, he's leading it to a place of hate, where now people will be hating it. The anger that we saw happen in the previous regime is now being extended to this regime, and we tend to see that these battles will continue. This is not what Zambians want. This is a time when President Akandechidem should be working at uniting us. The law should be expedited and followed precisely in a professional manner. But what is happening is kangaroo. There is no law that requires that when you are found wanting, the police should just pounce on you and put you in cells. They can summon you. Mr. Emmanuel Mamba has complained that there was the, the police have got his phone numbers. They never dared to call him. There was no call accepted on him, but he was picked like a common animal. I personally have been thrown in cells, beaten, thrown in Mumuela, just like a common criminal. And yet the police have got all the rights. This which we are seeing is a means that which people are using to victimize political players. Make you be punished before you are even charged. So that even when they find you without a charge, they would have already punished you. So we are very much aggrieved and we are sending a message saying this is not how we are going to build Zambia. This is not how we are going to unite this country. It is important that we be humans. We look after one another. But let me you can't go on venging your venom on every Zambian. Some of us have never hit you, but already you are hating us. You are proranging hate. This is not what we should do. And I'm appealing to you. I know you are watching this. Where you are. Can you normalize this? Can you let Mr. Emmanuel Mama be charged? If you have to take him to court, take him to court. This should end. This is Kason Demwenda. And we are still counting. You still haven't arrested Mr. Batuke Emenda. We are counting. He was reported on the 2nd of June 2023 up to now because he's your man. You are evading the law. Your time will come. And we are sending the signal. Zambia is watching. The world is watching. The international world is watching. This is not how we are going to develop this country. This is Kason Demwenda, president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. As we always stand up and speak for those who are marginalized. God bless you and God bless Zambia. Thank you. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.